presents Dick Powell, Charles Boyer, David Niven, Ida Lupino. Somebody helping you, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, well, maybe you could help me. It's a little bit off my beat. It seems there was a suit bought here by Mrs. Comstock that needed some alterations, and it was a matter of an overcharge. What I mean by an overcharge, they charged the suit. Oh, dear, yes. Well, you want the claims department on the fifth floor. Uh, they'll have the entire record of the transaction there. I'm sure you won't have any trouble. It's to the right as you step off the elevators. Oh, I'm sorry. May I help you? Is someone helping you, sir? I'm Richard Comstock. Yes. I was here making an inquiry about a mistake in Mrs. Comstock's account. The young lady over there said that I might have it taken care of on the fifth floor. Well, that's right. The elevators are over there. What department was the purchase made in? Suits. Women's suits. Well, in that case, you'd ask for Mrs. Curtis in claims. Just say Miss Martin sent you. Miss Curtis, thank you. Look, I suppose it is odd my getting this thing adjusted myself, but... You see, Connecticut is quite a ways away, and I'm in town so often. You're new here, aren't you? Yes, I was transferred from our out-of-town store. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I know it is rather sudden and blunt of me, but do you suppose I could take you to lunch? I'm sorry, I don't know you, Mr. Comstock. Well, I know it is informal, but, well, then so is lunch, really, isn't it? Surely you must understand that I can't accept invitations from our customers. Yes. I'll telephone you. Have a good day? Not bad. Ms. Downs, you've been here quite a while. You ever waited on Mrs. Comstock? Well, mostly by telephone. We have her sizes and she just orders by phone. A lot of it comes back, the color not right and all that. A lot of it stays sold, too. What sort of a person is she? Well, I hardly know, except that she's terribly rich and she seems very nice. No doubt about Dick Comstock, though. Everybody likes him and they should. He never lets you know how rich he and his mother are. And that's what I like about him. Mrs. Comstock is his mother, then. Mm-hmm. Oh, would you get that? I've got to run. Good night. Good night. Hello, Miss Martin speaking. Well, really, I'm flattered, but under the circumstances... I know I had said lunch, but it was rather inopportune this morning and late. I do very much want to see you. Can we try dinner tonight? Well, I'm afraid it's impossible. You see, I'd have to go home and change and... You'd have to go so far to call for me. All right. Better take down my address, then. I'll get it. Right. Right. I'd say 7.15 at your door, eh? Fine. Goodbye. What is it, Richard? 
Nothing. Just glad I found you, that's all. You know, darling, I have an idea. A very good idea. What's that? I think it's time you met my mother. I'd like it. What about this weekend? All right. Can we have a date? Yes, darling, we have a date. Thank you, Mrs. Comstock. So have I. Well, that's a fair enough start. You keep on that track. Well, uh, I'll help John with the luggage. Right. Won't you come in, dear? Thank you, Betty. It's so nice to have you here at last. Thank you. I've heard nothing for months but Anne, Anne, Anne. Ever since Richard first met you in that store. We hope you like the store, Mrs. Comstock. You know you're one of our best customers. Yeah. Certainly specializes in attractive personnel. What an interesting staircase. Yes, isn't it? Let's get you settled, huh? All right. Wait a minute. This is to be Anne's room. No, Mother. It's not at all in her taste, and I know. But I understood, and I thought you did, too. That was to be Anne's room. The other room's been closed up. It needs airing. Nonsense, Mother. She stays in here. This room is so... so different from the rest of the house. See? She's home here. See you later, darling. All right. Anne. Yes? What is it, Mrs. Comstock? I hope you'll be very comfortable here. Well, of course I will. Rest, freshen up, and come down when you like. All right. Come in. 
Mother says if any of your things need ironing, her maid will be right up. But you haven't even unpacked. Well, I, I brought things that travel easily. Dinner's at seven. Richard, wait. Hmm? Whose clothes are these? They're yours, darling. Seen you more beautiful. Thank you. He plays beautifully, doesn't he? Yes. But unhappily. I wish he wouldn't play that. Surely you're familiar with Richard's moods by now. I thought I was. Please, may I talk to you for a moment? It's very important. Why, of course, Anne. We'll go out on the terrace. belonged to Lydia. She was Richard's wife. His wife? He was desperately in love with her, but she didn't return that love. I was so worried about Richard. He had so much to give. But she was cold. Had no affection for him. Never had. What happened was two years ago, two years ago tomorrow night. Richard told me they'd had a bitter quarrel what happened? It was to have been their wedding anniversary party. I shall never forget. Another happy day for you, Miss Johnson. Oh, indeed it is another happy day. I love it. For a lifetime. I hope you're back, darling. So we can leave right after the party. It's beautiful, Richard. Thank you. But I'm not going. I'm calling off our trip. But you can't. You, you can't just call it off like that. No, but I can and I have. Now, don't get sentimental, Richard. I want to go to the embassy dinner tomorrow night with the Wells. So I'm changing our plans. People do postpone things. I'm surprised you didn't postpone our wedding anniversary tonight. Oh, well, hardly. I have too much regard for appearances for that. That's about all you have any regard for. You're hurting my arm, Richard. I'm sorry. Listen to me. Now you're Please, ruining listen. my dress. Do you have any idea how much I love you? Does it mean anything to you anymore? Oh, dear. Surely you must know it's been over, as far as I'm concerned, for some time. Now, why do you try to hang on? I hang on because I still love you. Thought that you loved me. Yes, well, I thought I did, too. But again, people do change their minds. Oh, now, don't look so stricken, Richard. After all, you're a very sensible man. And surely you can see there's no use our going on like this. So, tomorrow, I'm going to do the only sensible thing and file for divorce. But I must say, you've been most generous. I love diamonds. I wish you were dead. Lydia. Lydia, listen. Lydia, please, listen. Let go of me, Richard. Let go. Don't you understand? I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of you. Let me go. Shouldn't 
flight attendant to dinner. You'll have to excuse her. She needs rest. Richard, you didn't hear. A little rest. That's all she needs. She told me just now she was tired. 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 Absolutely rejected Lydia's death. You mean he has no memory of it? He remembers nothing after the quarrel that night. He, he keeps her room and all her things just the way they were. He still thinks she's alive. He just thinks she's left him as she said she would. But sometimes when he's away from here and he's been with you, Anne, He's himself again. It's this house, dear. Lydia lives for him here. I begged him to get rid of it and go away, but he won't. How can he love me when he thinks Lydia's alive? Mrs. Comstocker, would you excuse me? I'm going to bed. Just tell Richard I was very, very tired. Richard, I, I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. I'm awfully tired. Of course, darling, you're tired. You need your rest. Tired. You're tired. Tired. you want. I know you. You. You're Lydia. Lydia. Why don't you leave us alone? Why are you haunting Richard? Richard. He's mine. Mine. I love him and I want him to love me. Me. You're dead. Get out of his life. Go away. Leave us alone. I want him to love me. Me. Me! 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 No! No! Anne! Anne! Mother, what's happened? Oh. What happened? Is she hurt? I don't know. I think she's fainted. She must have had a nightmare. Oh, I told you she needs a rest. Richard, Richard, stop it. This is Anne. It's not Lydia. Forget Lydia before it's too late. She's tired. She's just tired. Poor girl. Poor Richard. Come in. Are you feeling better, dear? Yes, I'm all right, thank you. Nightmares can be terrifying. Are you sure you've had enough sleep? Yes. Mrs. Comstock, I was wondering, do you think I could stay here another few days? Why, of course you can. I want to try and help Richard. You love him very much, don't you? After last night and what happened, I know I love him enough to stay here and fight for him. I can't leave him now. Thank you, Anne. You said that 
When he's with me, away from this house, he's like his old self. Is that right? In this house, Lydia's alive for him. Sometimes when he's at the piano, he'll, he'll stop playing and look off to the stairs as if he were remembering. It's when he plays that one theme, isn't it? Why, well, yes. He has to be cured here in this house. Did, did Lydia wear any one of these dresses that night? Well, yes, the plain black satin one. I see. Thank you. Ready, darling? I won't be a minute. I'm just finishing dressing. Don't be long. Richard. Hmm? While I'm finishing, play something for me, will you? All right, darling. Remember. Of course you do. And it was an accident. You must believe that. Help me. Help me. You'll stay with me, won't you? Always. <laughs> <laughs> 